in my earlier videos, you saw that the rotor uh, is not attached to the um, to the board. So if I flip the rotor, uh, then this thing simply falls off, right? I found a solution for this problem. I bought a sheet of ferrite, uh, which which is actually a sticker, and as you see, it it sticks to the sticks to the board uh, because it's uh, attracted to the magnets. Now, if I do that on the back of my uh, of my board, so if I add these stickers, so if I do that on the back of my board, so I add two of these stickers. Uh, you see that the uh, the prism no longer comes off, right? And what is even more is because I now increase the magnets from four to eight. Uh, so I have eight magnets on these uh, on this motor. Uh, it can still rotate, and then I'll show you that. And you see that it is that it is still rotating. Uh, so it can overcome the static friction, which is the most important. Uh, so if I now flip it. Uh, you see that it, that it still rotates, uh, and that is what we want. I will give one example for a fast rotation, and in the back you see that I have a, a voltage of 6.3 volt. And now you see it's working on the top as well so it's fixed we can go for an exposure with this uh, contraption and here you see that the, uh, the program is using a PID controller to keep it into a certain speed at a certain speed so that's working as well you see it's stuck at a thousand Hertz which is nice